Hello everyone, this is Joshism. Here's my two pesos and installing this vernier handle onto this metering valve. So this is a switch lock S series metering valve, as you can see. Um, I'm going to actually be installing the vernier handles on to these. These are the new Pro, as you can see. Um, they are the same thing. Switch lock company. Switch lock on the back of it. S series. Same thing. It's rebranding. So you'll probably find that after tightening your knob or handle all the way, it's still releasing gas. Well, that's because at the factory, in order to protect the needle, they actually loosen it. And then they uh, loosen that screw, They and then they slide the knob all the way down, and then they retighten it. That way you can't push it past uh, where it's you're not gonna break the needle. So in order to close the needle valve, we have to loosen this screw right here then slide it up about an eighth. But you have to make sure that the screw, this little screw here, is mounted on that flat side. And so you don't wanna slide it all the way down. You wanna give it like maybe an eighth of an inch and then you tighten it. And then gently close it. Uh, you don't want to push it past where it's going to break the needle. And then you pull back a little bit, just a little bit, like maybe, I don't know, a quarter of a turn. Then you loosen it, loosen that screw again. And then you slide it all the way down where it's seated. And then you tighten it again. And there you go, it's, it's all the way. So in order to install the Run your handle onto this metering valve. Um, you just first install this piece. Uh, make sure the numbers are showing. Uh, align it to where you'd like. And then use this uh, two millimeter Allen wrench and tighten it first right here. Make sure it's aligned. And then once that's aligned, and you install this piece. Make sure that um, the screw here is aligned to the flat side of this needle here before you screw it in. So once that's screwed in, you tighten it, and then you make sure the zero is aligned to this uh, line right here, and it touches that zero right there. And then you tighten the screw, and it, sh it should be the uh, two millimeter. And there you go. Just in case somebody's wondering what I'm using these metering valves, solenoids, and regulators for, I'm just using them for CO2 injection in aquarium plants. It really helps the plants to thrive.